going to be a room tour and it's this room I'm in right now. I wanted to do kind of like a home tour series where I actually do separate rooms. The whole house isn't quite done yet, but this room is pretty much how I want it. And no, it's never like really complete all the way. There's always like little things I want to change, but this one is pretty much like what I envisioned. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is my home office slash um, filming room and like photo taking room, I guess. This room is a room that I absolutely love how it turned out and I wanted to share it with you guys. I hope you guys like this video. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna close this. So when you first walk in, um, you see these French doors. I absolutely love French doors. These were actually just normal doors with no windows and like normal doorknobs. But when um, I did the remodel, I in, I needed French doors. Like it's something I've always, always loved since I was a little girl. I probably saw it in some like movie and thought it was just the coolest thing ever. But it just adds a lot of extra natural light to the house, like overall, like the living room here and stuff. This is like a huge extra added uh, way for the, to, the light to actually go through the entire floor here. So I really, really love that and just the way it looks and it just fit the vibe. So um, yeah, I love this and I added these little crystal doorknobs to them. Um, I got from Amazon just cause I've always wanted crystal doorknobs too. <laughs> but yeah, so when you open it, this is what the office looks like. So I guess we'll start off to the right here. I have my little computer, it's so loud. I have my a little computer desk area and I spend a lot of time here. Well, I've never had an iMac, so I was really, really excited about that. And I love just like sitting here and working on stuff for the shop um, or just like on Pinterest and stuff like that. So. I've never had like an actual office space before. I've always wanted one. Uh, it just makes me feel like grown up. But I like being able to just like wake up with my um, morning routine and just like sit here, get emails done, get everything done in like a space that I feel like at ease in and like organized. Everything's very organized according to how I like it. So I love, love that. My computer and I have my wireless keyboard and I actually got this. I hate using like my mouses. I don't know if it like, like mice. Is it called mice? I don't know. A mouse, a computer mouse. Okay, there we go. I don't like using them because I'm really used to using a laptop. Like I said, I've never had like a desktop computer before. This here is like a magic trackpad, which basically mimics like a MacBook laptop. Like it has the clicking and you can like go like that. I really, really like that. It's less for my hand to do. Like I don't have to constantly lift my hand around. It's kind of nice for it to go like that. That was like a really, really good investment. I highly, highly recommend if you work from home and you have like a desktop situation, iMac situation, I guess. I really like that. And then I got this desk and this chair is from World Market and I saw it on Pinterest, this combo, and I really, really liked it because uh, World Market's not too, too expensive. And it has like this little slide out thingy, which I like to do crafts on. I have my Cricut here, so I'll do like my crafts. That's like extra space, which is really, really cool. Um, and like this drawer is really nice to organize um, pens and office supplies. And oh, uh, that's my insurance card. But oh, sorry, Ronnie. Okay. But yeah, and then I have my little organizer for notes and clips and all that good stuff. And then these orange slice coasters that we made for the shop. Um, we don't sell these anymore, but I love these. And then, yeah, there's like water damage right here because um, thankfully, so like I was taking a bath. I like, the bath water was above like the drain part, the upper part that drains when it's like over over a certain level, there's overfilling. And instead of like draining through the sewer pipes or whatever, it drained out through the ceiling. And it just so happens that 
the bathtub is right above this desk here and it was just like the whole floor was covered but it was like a couple of weeks before i got my computer so this desk was just a desk thankfully we got that figured out before the iMac was like literally right where it would have been that would have been just terrible but um yeah there is a little bit of water damage but i don't really care about it. and then this wall used to be just like a normal wall like that um but i got wainscoting done when i did the remodel just to have you know just a different element to the room it really makes this room feel just a lot more like custom built and um i love having this as a background to just take pictures to film and yeah i've always wanted something like this so i'm really 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 happy um that it turned out well and then i got this light from cv2 and brendan just installed it and stuff for me because i don't know how to do any of that and then i have this my pride and joy the only thing i've ever like won or I guess it's not really one, but like trophy wise, this is like my biggest accomplishment ever. So thank you guys so, so much. It's really heavy, otherwise I would hang it. I'm like super scared it's gonna break. So I just leave it here. Um, okay, so moving on to this area. I actually have this here because there's like an, a couple outlets and I just like having it covered. So when I take pictures and stuff, you can't see it but I really like this piece. I have two of them and they're from CB2. They came in a set, so I really like that. Um, and this chair, I just imagined like a little reading corner um, slash just like place to relax. Like if I'm working, I wanna take a little break, I'll just sit here and it's so, so comfy. Most of the time, that's the reason why there's an indent here is because Jasper always lays here. This is literally like from him laying all the time and it's so cute. Um, and this chair is so comfortable. It's from Lulu in Georgia and it's slip covered so it's, uh, the covers come off and it's washable and it's like linen. So it's really, really nice and comfy and soft. Um, so I love just like sitting here. And this mirror, is from anthropology it's the primrose mirror and it was one of the first big purchases i made for this house um and i absolutely love it it just makes this room like it ties it all together it just adds um like reflection from the window to a mirror almost gives the illusion of like another window um as far as like reflecting the natural light so this whole room is always much brighter than the rest of the house which I love. Working in an area with a lot of natural light and taking pictures in an area of natural light, I just feel like so much more in a better mood. Just creates kind of like this, just this perfect little nook for me to just do my work. So I really, really like how it all came together. Um, but yeah, I usually like take pictures here and all that good stuff. And then over here is uh, printers, my Cricut, and then in these, baskets are just like ink and paper and office supplies and just storage for all the stuff that I um, need for the office and I do have two of the same printer the reason being is because this one is halfway broken and I can't get myself to get rid of it so basically you can print like cardstock and like sticker paper and like vinyl through here and then regular printer paper is down here. So it's really, really cool. I, it's like, it creates like really, really nice stickers. I'm making some right now. Everything as far as like packaging goes, like branding and all that for the shop, I make myself. I like design it, I cut it out, I print it, all that. I don't hire anyone to do that just cause I like doing everything myself. But this is the printer that makes it happen. And this guy here, it can't print cardstock or like anything like that anymore. I can only print like normal stuff, which is fine. Cause then I'll just have like two printers going on at the same time, um, maximum productivity that way. And I, I don't want to get rid of it cause it still kind of works. But this, I got the same printer. I love this printer and the white. I just, I like the way it looks. Like printers are kind of hard to fit into decor. And I know it doesn't bother some people, but for me, I, I like having cohesiveness in like everything if I can. And this room is definitely like a white aesthetic light 
airy vibe. I knew I really couldn't hide the printers, but this is kind of how I made it work. Um, and then over here I have my Cricut, which is what I use to make um, stickers and vinyl stuff. Um, so I love that. I've always wanted a Cricut. So this bookshelf thing I got from Target and it's the perfect size for all my printers and all that. So I'm really happy that I was able to find something that could have all the printers in one place and it fit really perfectly between the door and the mirror. So it's a cute piece in a Target. So it was like $150, I think. So not too terribly expensive. Yeah, and then I have a organizer for all the different paper, like vinyl, sticker paper, regular paper, cardstock, and yeah. What else? So this flooring, it used to be um, carpet, actually. And I wanted to do hardwood in here, but I wanted to do something special. And I've always, always wanted herringbone. And that's basically like the style of kind of like the the back and forth um, planking instead of just the regular vertical or horizontal. And I really liked how it turned out and I think it just adds that custom feeling and it's a little bit like, just a little bougie, just a little. So I love, I love the flooring and how it turned out. Um, I actually chose the colors and stuff like I hadn't seen it in person, but when I chose the wood, I was in California still, and we were moving back during the pandemic when it first came, or when it first happened, and I was just like, I saw a picture of this wood, and I asked you guys on Instagram actually to help me choose it, and um, for the herringbone, this was the wood style. For the rest of the house that's normal wood, it's a different color, um, and I really liked despite not seeing in person how it turned out. So I'm so, so happy it turned out um, what like how I imagined, honestly. So yeah, this room is probably my favorite in the house right now. I'm trying to get the other rooms to this level, <laughs> but I don't think it will. Like this is just, I had a Pinterest board for a year and this room was like the project that I wanted to get done for sure. The other house, or the other house, the other rooms are coming along though. Um, so I think that I will grow to love them once I complete them as much as I have this one. But yeah, so, oh, Jasper wants to say hi. Come in. in. <laughs> Come on. Do you want to go sit in your spot? That's not your spot. <laughs> Jasper, you want to say hi? Let me see hi everyone. Ow, my elbow. Hi. You wanna say bye? Oh, you look kind of annoyed. Oh. Alright guys, so I'm gonna say bye to you guys with Jasper here. I hope that you guys like this video. Um, and I will be uploading more uh, rooms once I complete them. I think next will be either the bedroom or my um, craft room or um, my creative uh, packing room for the shop. So yeah, I hope that you guys liked this video and let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you want me to do. I will be sure to read through those because it's been a while since I've uploaded and I really, really want to get back into it, and I hope that you guys, um, oh, oh. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video, and have a wonderful day and week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!